Uh, normally it would come up just random characters, but I put some characters there. And the first thing you want to do is to initialize all the hardware. There's a built-in 2K uh, monitor ROM on this system, part of the MFIO board, and its location is at F000. So in the address bus, I'm putting in an F. I am going to reset and then up to examine. Notice that we have F000, and I'm going to go ahead and run. One of the commands we can do on that monitor is erase the screen by hitting an E. Okay, so uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to the North Star disk operating system. I already have a uh, North Star drive uh, disk, floppy disk in there. Uh, the North Star floppy disk, the way that system works is that there's a, a ROM on the North Star board. It goes out, it reads the disk, puts it in memory, and then it starts to execute from there. So I have, have to have a di floppy disk with the North Star DOS on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, in the monitor, say go E900. This keyboard's a little bit funky. The ROM went uh, bad on it. And so in order for me to enter some commands, I have to use the control for the return, control for the escape in order to get the correct ASCII code. And I'll be using shift keys for a couple of things as well. Notice that uh, our uh, North Star disk is up and running, and so if I hit LI for list, we should see the contents of that floppy being listed out. Next thing I'm going to do is notice there is a basic on that uh, uh, disk. I'm going to say go space basic. And you notice the ready prompt over there. So I can say something like A equals 3. The equals sign normally requires a shift key, but because of the oddball of, of, of this keyboard, it doesn't work. Control return. And you notice we have uh, ready. Next I'm going to say print uh, shift space A return and indeed the uh, basic is, is working. Okay let's switch to CPM. I'm going to take out the North Star uh, floppy with the disk offering system and instead put in the CPM floppy. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to E9. I did that with the go command before, but I'm going to use the front panel this time. So I'm going to stop, reset, examine. Notice I've got the E but not the 9, so I have to hit the examine a second time to get the 9. Run. And you can see we have the lifeboat uh, CPM system up. I'm just going to go ahead and type in mbasic. Okay, we have Microsoft Basic up and running in the CPM environment. I can go ahead and do the same kind of thing I did before. A equals 6. We get the OK prompt. Print A. And you can see that uh, everything looks fine. So, so we saw North Star. We pulled up basic with Dart North Star. We saw CPM running. We pulled up a, a basic system with CPM. Uh, this time, I'm going to I'm going to go and show some of the special features of this particular 
uh, MSI. I am going to stop the system. This is the current address that it was executing. And normally you can do a step. That's this button here. Uh, watch the lower address leads. They are not sequential. It's because we're stepping by instructions, not by memory locations. If you want to get to a place fairly quickly, you take the single step and go up, and there's an automatic uh, clocking there that will go ahead and take you slow step up to whatever address you're looking for. Stop the system. I'm going to go to F000. Uh, examine. Go right F000. Run. Okay. I'm going to hit the E to erase. You can see the screen clears. Now, this time we're going to do a quick memory test of just a very small portion of uh, the memory. So for the mantra that command is T zero and every time you see a dollar sign down, down there it means the memory test has passed. I'm going to hit control escape to stop that. Okay. Now I removed the power button here and replaced it with a uh, memory protect and unprotect switch. I can take each K, each 4K bank of memory and I can protect it so it looks like ROM rather than RAM. So what I'm going, going to do is we'll stop. We're going to go down to address 0. Okay, address 0 and I'm going to protect it. Notice the uh, protect LED is on. If I go and look at a different address outside that memory bank. Notice I'm at address uh, 2000. The memory protect is off. If I go back down to zero again, examine, memory protect is on. So that lower bank of memory is tested. What do you suppose will happen if we do a memory test on it now? So examine, I'm at F000, run, and we're going to say test, same address range as we did before. Notice we got an error. It shows the pattern that went into memory and the location that uh, where the error was detected. So, uh, let's go ahead and take the protection off. We're going to stop the machine. Go back down to address 0. Protection's on. Take the protection off. We're going to go back up to the monitor, examine, we've got that address, run. We're going to try testing that memory location again. Test, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And you can see we're passing the memory test again. So that is, that is a feature that you don't normally see that uh, I have mod installed the modification to do that. Just to review. Uh, we use the internal monitor at F000 to get things started to initialize all of the hardware. And uh, once we did that, we used the we could use the monitor to go to E900 uh, to pick up the ROM for the floppy disk, or I could get there uh, from the front panel. And depending upon what floppy disk I had in there, I could either boot up Northstar um, or CPM. Or if you have some other operating systems, I believe in my uh, floppies there are a couple other different operating systems that uh, you might be able to use. Um, and once you're there, of course, then um, the world is open. Uh, the software includes assemblers and uh, you can review the kinds of software from the uh, listing in eBay. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day and I hope you found this useful.